So, um, have you always lived here in Liberty County? Sure have. So, lived here your entire life? No. 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 So. I'm from Michigan. Mm -hmm. Moved here 13 years ago and been here since um, 2006. 2006. So, I'm, you said 13 years, so I was here seven, which is pretty exciting. So. Yeah. It'll be it'll be thirteen years in October. Nice. Yeah. Um, I think this is a great place to live and work. And um, sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I wonder about Hinesville. <laughs> I, think, I think that could be said for probably anywhere. So, um, you know, I came here seven years ago just to work for Four H and Extension because that's how I grew up and um, certainly loved. Love the community, love the people. I think that's what makes such a difference here. Yes, so, definitely. Um, and, you know, um, I live out in the Midway area and have um, just a single structure home. Um, it's just me and the dogs kind of thing. So i um, try to keep it pretty simple. In terms of your family's house, what kind of home do you guys live in? And can you describe that for me? Um, we live in a single-wide mobile home. Um and well, I guess that's it. Like we just live, and we live in a trailer park, so there's a bunch of different trailers. So. So, um, does your home have rooftop solar? Does not. It does not. And um, why don't you have rooftop solar? Did you make that decision, or was it made for you? Made for me. Mm-hmm. And so. I assume it was made for you based on when you moved in and um, what was already there? Yes. Yep, it was. Let's see. Um, if you had the option, would you put rooftop solar on your home? Why or why not? Um, I might consider it just because um, I feel solar power um, um, is a great benefit to our society. Um, two, in the long run, it might be more expensive to purchase from the get-go, but in the long run, you're going to save based off of that, especially on your electric bill, because living in a mobile home, I tell you, our electric bill gets pretty high in the summer. Yeah. So Running that air conditioning. Yeah. Yes. And there's so many little cracks in a mobile home, mm -hmm. you just, it goes out the door. Well, too, because it gets so hot here, I mean, you have to, I think, or you're just going to be miserable. Yes, like exactly. Not. I mean, and I have animals, so I can't even turn the AC off when I'm not home. So, it. I mean, it would, in the long run, it would be a benefit. It's something that I don't have and definitely would love to figure out a way to consider it. So, uh, so the, that first set of questions was just a little bit more kind of about you and your perceptions. And now we're going to talk a little bit about solar adoption in general. Mm -hmm. So um, here's a map of the United States. And what I'm going to ask for you to do is just look at the map. You can take your time. And um, if you will draw on the map, you can circle or start or whatever, um, the area or areas that you think people have the most rooftop solar energy on their homes? Hmm. <laughs> and I do not know the answer to these questions, so it's not like I'm here to trick you or um, grade you or anything like that. It's just where do you think and people have the most rooftop solar energy? All over the United States? So. Yeah. Hmm. Let's say California. circle as many areas or as few as you like. So whenever you're ready, just let me know. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so what makes, um, obviously it looks like you didn't circle our area. Um, so what makes that these communities so different from Liberty County? What do you think? Um, honestly, I would say um, the demographics in general. Um, we are pretty much here in Liberty County. We have a lot of low-income families, and the, just 
based off the demographics and being low income, I feel like most people can't afford to get, you know, solar power. Um, so, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, cost is a factor in anything that we yes, do. Yes, so. exactly. And I, I feel like most, most people probably can't even afford to get one panel of solar right. power. And um, if, it, if they make it more cost effective, it would probably benefit. So we um, talked a little bit about the U.S. So here now is a map of Georgia. Mm. And it's the same question, essentially. So what um, area or what communities do you think people have the most rooftop solar on their home? Sad I don't know most of Georgia. Oh, it's okay. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, you're not from here. Yes. So it's hard to navigate all the cities. The, fa- the sad thing is I've been to one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven of them mm-hmm. that are listed. Right. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. Yeah. So, again, looking at that map, you um, circled the Atlanta area and the Athens area, but not Hinesville, Liberty County. So um, what do you think, again, makes these two communities different than where we live? Um. I would say, again, demographics, and two, um, just the overall um, structure of, you know, Athens is pretty big, Atlanta is huge, Um, so just the basic um, structure of the buildings that are included in those areas um, make me feel like they probably would take advantage of solar power versus us here. We don't really have big structured buildings here right. <laughs> like those areas do. Absolutely. So um, what about most of your close friends here in Georgia or here in Liberty County? Um, do, you, do they have solar energy? N- no, they do not. Talk? And why do you think they don't? Um, most of the families that I know are, ve- are low income and... Um, they just can't, you know, yeah. we just try to afford uh, <laughs> what we can't afford. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. So, um, like you mentioned, you know, cost is a factor in everything that you do. Yes. So.